Right now, more than 140,000 CMS students are heading back to class. It comes as they continue to try and fill about 370 open teacher positions. Wake up Charlotte Shamaria Morrison joins us live from the CMS bus depot where buses are gearing up to pick up students. Shamaria, what do these shortages mean for kids in the classroom? Um, it means a lot. So right now, the temporary fix is to have guest teachers to temporarily fill those positions that they're not able to fill for the school year. And, you know, they're also worried about safety at CMS test scores, but they say they have a plan for all of it. To cover classes, CMS has just around 400 guest teachers to choose from, but it won't permanently solve the problem of a shortage of licensed teachers. Depending upon the subject area, or the licensure that's required for a particular vacancy, it may be harder or maybe not so hard to cover that classroom. Current CMS teachers who are licensed can also take on an extra class for some extra cash. We're um, providing the opportunity to teachers who step up and want to cover that class for the entire semester or for longer term absences, they can do that. All high school and many middle schools will have these body scanners. As a deterrent, district leaders are also warning students about the risk of expulsion and criminal charges for bringing in weapons. Issuing the, the, the state statute consequence for students that bring weapons to schools. The district will also be cracking down on student absences. We expect students to be in attendance if we want to move the dial on student achievement. After 10 unexcused absences, students will fail a course. We're going to follow that protocol this year, and it's everybody understanding and the families being engaged to ensure their child may leave that morning. They better make sure they showed up at school and they're not at somebody's house playing Xbox or the TikTok game or whatever they're doing. Parents may also be held criminally responsible. You know, I'm at one of the CMS bus depots. Bus have been coming out, and they're also experiencing a shortage of drivers here. So just about 40 drivers, they say they're missing for the school year, but about 35 are in the pipeline to get on the roads uh, soon enough. So they're trying to figure some of that out. But everything is good where we are right now. So for now, live at CMS's bus depot, Shamaria Morrison, Wake Up Charlotte.